I mean, I've read stuff from the 20s and 30s about how they had to get children out of people's arms into baskets and into crates and into uh, you know, cradles and cribs to break the human connection to them because they found when they removed baby rats from their mothers, they were addled, stupid, fearful, and pathetic. I mean, the children don't get mother's milk. Their brains are a third smaller on average when given formula. I mean, there's a reason the public's dumb and cowardly and weak. I was hanging on my parents' neck like a monkey. I slept with them. I sat there and watched everything they did. I have memories when I was like a year and a half old of realizing I had a symbiotic relationship with my parents and, and fearing something would happen to them because they were my, my biological robot that did things for me. Kids supposed to be hanging like a monkey off their parents' neck, watching everything, developing into a seriously smart, aggressive creature. Instead, you look at all these people, they're little kids. The SWAT teams, all of them, are trying to be men, trying to find their mother, trying to find their father, trying to find their tribe. That they have biologically, and now all the science is coming out in major universities. I saw one out of uh, Princeton just the other day, another out of uh, Calgary, up in Canada. And the top professors are going, epigenetics, it's incredible. We need to be held and we need to be taught. We need to go through things when we're a kid so that it triggers our epigenetics and boosts the IQ. And they're going, I can't believe that everything we do is to lower IQ and to lower human development and accessing our real programming. What you just think you just discovered that this year, scientist? The new adulthood is at 25. It's about to be 30. These people... If a baby isn't held by their parents, if a baby isn't given the fat in the mother's milk, the baby releases hormones and chemicals and then activates genes. This is on record. To where they live in fear and are totally cowardly and have no idea what planet they're on and then have to be given antidepressants because they're so freaked out. Oh, when your 11-year-old daughter has anxiety because she's got zits for the first time and goes into puberty... It isn't go through the crisis, deal with it, learn how to deal with it. No, it's drug your daughter with serotonin reuptake inhibitors and, and, and stuff like that. Psychotropics. When your son gets beat up for the first time or beats somebody up because they start a fight, the answer is drug them instead of giving them a medal. You're not allowed to go through any of the rites of passage. And I biologically realized this myself a long time ago. Because it's the rites of passage that then activate another chapter in who you are.